Hello, it's a no ums video for December the 25th. Merry Christmas, uh, 2022. Number 43 of my no ums videos of checking in on how my vocal progress is going. My vocal study progress is going. Well, I continued with all of my, I continued with all of my exercises this week, doing tongue face, tongue face all the way through the week. That all, that all went as, as it usually does go. Um, I'm at the moment I'm reading out poems, uh, from the rattle bag, uh, as a little break from Orlando Furioso. I'm, I'm meaning hopefully this weekend, maybe I will actually do a bit more actual prep work to do a couple of videos on the first half of Orlando Furioso before I continue on. This is also going to allow the guy I'm uh, doing the read along not not a read along. I'm following his reading of Orlando Furioso. He uh, Tom at LA Books uh, talks about a canto, but but basically a canto once a week, and I've zoomed ahead. So I've gotten to the very end of part one, and I'm taking a break, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do some focusing in on little key parts of the first half of the poem, talk about them in videos, release those, show Tom. I'm paying attention a little bit and then continue on with the second half of the story. And I also did find a uh, way of having kind of little summaries of the poem, which then I seem to have lost. Um, somebody, one of the translations does a little summation a paragraph, um, little poem at the beginning of each canto, and uh, compiling those was actually a useful thing. And actually, I was able to find a couple of the points in the poem that I wanted to go back to and talk about, so that was useful that way. So, yeah, I'm doing, I'm reading out poems this poems for the last while, which has been actually good with Patsy Ruddenberg, who is where I'm doing my vocal study videos on each week, one a week, on an exercise that she gives in her book, The Need for Words. And I think the last one was sort of doing kind of different various kind of sounding out of, of, of the words. What was it called? It was called, it was called sounding, I think it's just called sounding words. Is it called sounding words? Sounding words, which was a rather large one. And I've actually found that useful uh, going forward, especially the idea of chanting the poem before I then do the, before I then read out the section because it's little poems. This it's, it's well suited towards doing these exercises where when I was doing the canto, I was doing like you know 10, 15 minutes of of the whole full thing. I wasn't going to chant out the whole bloody thing beforehand. So just sort of doing that chant out actually is really good for getting the pacing getting what the, the 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 size of the thought is i should use some of the other ones where it's uh where it's on like the action words the noun or the verb um the subject or the action of of the poem uh that's something else i should use this week was drawing on images which is very much talking about what image gets conjured by those words and being mindful as a reader, as someone who's saying the words out, you need to have actually something in your mind to be able to kind of project that on to your audience. The audience may get a different image altogether, but you having that intent uh, really does bring your reading more to life. Um, so that's what, that's what the vocal study was this week. And I, I've been doing a lot more chanting, but I, I do it. That, that is a thing to think about. Um, the poem that I just did here, let's the poem I just did, which is she and I, which is a nice short one. You know, she and I, we thought and fought and each of us won by the other's defeat, which you get this, like, you know, a couple, you know, actually physically, physically fighting, fighting. She and I, we danced and pranced and lost by neglect. The, and lost by neglect the use of her feet, which is odd because you're dancing and you're prancing, so you're, you're very much on a thing, but you're, you're, lo you're losing the use of your feet. She and I, we caught ills and chills. We were cured or dead before we could cough. So it's like, oh, chilling, ch you know, shivering, shivering, shivering ill, ill creatures. She and I, we walked and talked half an hour after our heads were cut off which is odd, the whole thing of, oh, you're actually walking and you're talking. That's like very much, you know, the head thing. But then you're, you're doing it after your heads were cut off. It's like chickens. Uh, it's, it's, again, this kind of failed, uh, troubled couple um, 
you know, running around with their heads cut off, uh, still in this kind of this wrong kind of relationship. So that that kind of idea of getting yourself into the poem. So she and I, she and I, we fought and fought, and each of us won by the other's defeat. She and I, we danced and pranced and lost by neglect the use of our feet. She and I caught ills and chills and were curse cured or dead before we could cough. She and I, we walked and talked half an hour after our heads were cut off. That's very much getting into the, the verbs, the, the, I think mostly the verbs like thought, fought, won, um, danced, pranced, neglect, neglect, use of our feet, caught ills and chills, were cured or dead before we could cough, walked and talked, and half an hour after our heads were cut off. So, um, yeah, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a way of activating those words in your body as you're saying them, projecting them out, which uh, I found it find, finding finding useful, and it's good to good to remind myself of that. I can see this is something where, if you have a checklist of things to do when you're reading, it's getting that getting that pa getting the pace down, the, the 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 space of thought, but also kind of the, those active words, those action words. Um, you thinking about that. Uh, there's also the idea of I, I know was the uh, the other thing was vowels and consonants. You know the wah, the kind of long the long muah kind of feeling, and then the cut tight kind of consonants, cut kick, cut off, cut off. Kind of that kind of sharpness, closing in, sucking in, tightness, that kind of physical stuff in the words uh, is very much because speaking is a physical act and you need to physicalize it. Uh, maybe not over physicalize it till it's being, you're, you're doing clutter, but physicalizing it so it gives it a solidness and an energy and um, gives something, give something for the listener to really catch on to. So yeah, that is my no ums video for uh, just for, for Christmas 2022. More videos later.